action, action. So, you know, sometimes when we play, and you probably find that this happens too, we, we get a little carried away and we get lost in the process and we end up with lots more things than we expected. Yeah. And that's kind of the genesis for this video. When we were making prints the other day, I don't remember what for, we do so many videos when we're together, but when we were <laughs> making prints, we ended up with a lot of them left over and the foil, the deco foil and all of that stuff was still out on the, the table and we thought, we need to do something with this. And so we did. And so we did. Yeah. I love the foil. So yeah, we decided we needed to add it to some gel prints and add it to some stuff. stuff. I, you know what? It, let's just say it wasn't a hardship to work with the foil. No, no, <laughs> Not it wasn't. All. It was fun. So in the video, you're going to see Elizabeth, she talks about how to foil a gel print, which, you know, it, we just wanted to cover that and you get to show that because you did it. So this is the one that she put Look at that the foil on the gel print. I know, right? So she, it's a double pattern. Yeah, that's the, the fun part. You get, there's lots of places for your eyes to go. So that's the one that she actually put the glue on while she was demoing. And then we had one prep that she came in and foiled. And then I came in and I showed you, so I took a piece of our, this is our six by 12 sticky stuff. And I arranged some pre-cut strips on it and I made some washi tape. And so we made strips of varying widths and that's kind of fun. The thing that we didn't think of, or I didn't think of at the time was to talk about, was to talk about, you don't have to cut strips. Ooh, look at that foil. You can cut different shapes and I'm gonna be all thumbs if I try to take this off. But when you peel that backing paper off. You can't take that off without your glasses. You're right, I can't. <laughs> So when you peel that off, you actually now, in this case, it happens to be a big old circle, but you have this shape, whatever it ends up being, that is self-adhesive and it becomes a sticker. Or you can make a lollipop. You could, yes. <laughs> I do like the idea of the shape though. Yeah, it becomes a sticker. How fun is that? You can stick it on your notebook. You can stick it in your journals. You can give them to you. In fact, this is a fun thing to do with the kids. If you've got leftover stuff, get this all ready to go and then let them cut it out and go to town, stick, well, hopefully not sticking it on your kitchen cabinets. Or your, or your refrigerator. Walls. Yeah. Yeah, but they can, you got all this kind of fun stuff that they can play yeah, with. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Not only the tape, but also to make sticker shapes. Sure. You ready? You want to go yeah, do it? Yeah, let's go do it. All right, we're going to go do it. So the idea here was to add some foil to leftover gel prints that we had from having a lot of fun for several hours with the gel plate. So I'm using the Deco Foil Liquid Adhesive, a palette knife, and uh, one of my Patterns for Layering stencils, and I'm... <laughs> It's Here Comes the Rain. I know the name of that Oh my one. God, she knows the name of it. Here Comes the Rain, which you have to really hold like this to get the general idea. Yeah. So we could do it like this, just, okay. you know, to be, but no, then we're out of the camera. So, yeah. all right. The rain, it's raining sideways. That's what we should have called it's it. It's raining cats and dogs. Yes, cats and dogs. Cat, dog, cat, dog. <laughs> anyway, so here's another pattern for layering that I just made a ghost print over a uh, light colored solid. So this was just, like I said, one of our extra gel prints while we were messing around. And so now I'm going to add the um, foil adhesive through a stencil to create another pattern on top of the first pattern. So I'm just going to put some of that adhesive out on the nonstick craft sheet. I'm going to pick it up with the palette knife. Okay, so that's that. And then you're going to want to wash your tools in the sink um, because everything's very sticky. So here is a print that I did and it already has the glue on it. And it is hopefully, you can see that in the light, hopefully that's at the right stage for the foil. And I'm also going to use the Speedball Baron because it 
applies a lot more pressure than I can do with my fingertips to get the foil to transfer to the glue on the paper. We found that that works the best. So you have glue everywhere, sister. Glue everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. So, okay, so with this foil, I have done it wrong so many times. You want to put the blank side down so the foil's facing up, right? Yep, every okay. time the back of the foil is always silver regardless of what the front color is. So if you put the silver against your sticky, you're good to go. Yeah, silver side down, silver side down. And then I'm actually using this kind of up on its edge so I can get like, or you could just do it flat, whatever. Um, but this gives you a lot of pressure without you having to really rub your fingers too, the too bone, much. To the nub. Yeah, to the nub. Plus it's, you know, winter right now as we're filming this and the heat is on and everybody's hands are dry. So it's nice to have that Baron to do the work for you. Oh yeah, there oh, we go. Look at how pretty that is. I like that. I want to say that this foil is named Mystic Rainbow and you get the color change across the, the foil in this case rather than down the length. I mean, there's a variety of different ones in the deco foil line. Yeah, the Mystic Foil, it's got that ombre variation of color Ooh, wow so look at that that's beautiful yeah. really really pretty so then i can come back in and use the same sheet but i could get a new one so that i have you know better chance of getting complete coverage over here Really, Barb, I wouldn't want to be using my fingertips this hard on my this My fingers paper. hurt watching you. Right? <laughs> Get a little bit more pressure on that one. I like to think that even though this is a little bit of work for your hands, the results certainly make it worth it. Worth I like to think that I'm that. burning off the cookie that I just ate. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? There's that. Okay. So look at how beautiful that is. The play of the two stencil patterns together, um, the circles and the dashes, and then the foil with the gel printed colors. That's really fun stuff. My idea was to lay these out on the long length. So this is our six by 12 sticky stuff. And if I take these pieces and I lay them this way, and I cut across, I'm gonna get strips with blocks of varying widths. And because I'm working on sticky stuff, I'm gonna have them be self-adhesive. So again, this is six by 12. So I'm gonna slide these. I'm hoping to not lose my arrangement because I spent some time thinking about this. Whether or not that works remains to be seen. Okay, so I'm not gonna probably, well, maybe I will put them all on. We'll see how it goes. So with sticky stuff, you get to peel off one half. This is the release paper. And I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna lay it down. Here's all my stickum. Now I gotta put my glasses on because without these, I'm doomed. Nothing is gonna line up. Remember, this is super sticky, so you can you get one shot to put this down. You're not gonna pick it up. Now, if you have a space in between, I won't tell anybody. Who cares? It's not that big a deal. So all I'm gonna do, I tried to think about color and pattern when I'm, and width when I was cutting these. I use a rotary cutter, a mat, and a ruler. I know a lot of you use paper cutters, whether it's a guillotine cutter or one of those rolling blades. Whatever you want to do works. You can cut them with scissors if you want. And then you're looking at really nice, imperfect stuff that gives you a really interesting look. So I only used, or we only used, three of the sheets that we made. We kind of kept this confined to those three. But if you wanted to make every strip from a different sheet, that would be fun too. All right, almost done. And I probably didn't space these perfectly, so I'm not gonna get this last full strip on, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get part of it on, and that's really all that matters. So once I have this on, remember, when I take this backing paper off, I've got this here, it becomes a sticker. So if I just grab a pair of scissors, and I start to cut across, now you could do this with a paper cutter if you wanted something a little bit more precise, but what I think is cool is that you get this strip that is varying widths of different kinds of color. That now, is so fun. I know, right? And if I had done really big ones with narrow ones on the side, you would see that. Now if you wanted to cut these this way and make strips of individual color, 
bingo, go right ahead and do it. I mean, that works too. So I'm gonna attempt to peel this off the back, but, oh, nope, there it is, okay. So even though these are separate pieces of paper, they're all held together by the sticky stuff. So effectively, I have washi tape pretty much of any width that I want that I, and this is a nonstick craft sheet, but I could put it down and I'm ready to go. It's in place. It couldn't possibly be more simple. And as you mix in various colors, various prints, various kinds of foil and colors, you have so many options to create. I mean, if I hold this up to the light, you can see the reflection. Look at all that nice foil I know the foils on, there. on there. It works really, really foil, well. Foil patterns, colors. It's 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 got it's the bomb. It has and everything. And I love that the way when you cut it across the strips, you get that lovely striped piece of washi tape. I know it's fun. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, that was tons of fun. And um, you know, sometimes it's nice to create without an end project in mind. This is a product and you can use these if you get enough of it done ahead of time when you're ready and you need something like these strips of you know pretty washi tape, then you're ready to go. And you know, it's an afternoon spent with no pressure. You just kind of have fun and do your thing. And then, like I said, when you have it, excuse me, when you need it, you have it in your, just step into it and have fun. Well, remember, it's about the process, not the end product. It's about enjoying being in the moment. There you go. I'm a destination kind of girl, I gotta admit, but I do enjoy it. I mean, we have so much fun we when we're together. Fun. I so mean, this process just for taking me, that barren and rubbing the foil was like pulling weeds or, or folding laundry. It's just mindless fun. Yes. We really need to think our Much idea Much better than laundry or weeds, yeah, it's definitely though. better. But you know what I'm saying? It's about yeah. that that pro that that sort of meditative process. Yep. So yeah. we works. had a good time. Yeah. Anyway, all right. We'll see you. See you next time. Bye.